go. That looks great, doesn't it? Well, it feels fantastic. That yeah, it feels great. Wow, well, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm glad, so let's just take a proper look at it. Right, so we've got some 3D, 3D printed pics for you here. If you want to. Oh, <laughs> wow. The attention to detail, we've got the logo on it, superb. That looks absolutely incredible. Yeah. Isn't wow, that beautiful? Cool. Thank you very much. That is it's super cool. Well, I'm I'm glad you guys like it. I hope you like your base when it comes out. I've got a picture over here. Okay, do you want to see how that looks? Um, cool. So did you take some that's, that's, that's wow. Wow, look at that. So, wow, and look at this. Look at the attention here as well. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Lovely. That's lovely. Oh, that's, look at yeah, the back as well on this. That's really cool. Isn't that wonderful? I'm, gl I'm glad you guys Absolutely like it. Absolutely blown yeah. away, that's beautiful. And yeah. found it shut. Yeah, it's a bit big on the wow factor. Yeah, superb. Unbelievable. Yeah. It's a beautiful, beautiful Wonderful. custom piece, isn't it? Yeah. The neck, what neck, where'd you get this neck from? Uh, well, it's just a standard kind of neck that you see on a Stratocaster yeah. style Feels neck. Feels like my other Strat neck. Beautiful. Yeah. So we try to keep all the originality while making it Plaxons. Absolutely, you've incredible. definitely done that. So, so, J so Jamie's is being is being printed, printed right as now. we speak. Yeah, the, the attention to detail. Absolutely it's beautiful. Really, really nice, isn't it? And it's and it's solid. Yeah, it is solid. What's the, what's the plastic? It's nylon twelve. So the, it's very interesting material because it's laser printed. Yeah. It's three times harder than wood. So this is going to be a lot rougher. You can take it up to 300 degrees, it's not going to melt. Oh wow. So it's, it's a lot stronger sure material. Up. And of course, because it's harder, it's got more resonance, more sustain than Jeez, wood does. Cool. Because wood kind of kills the sustain, right? It's, sure. it's, it's yeah. not like solid, this is solid. So you get more kind of meat out of it. That's nice. wonderful. We're going to go down to actually the printing facility, which is why I asked you to come all the way out of London. Nice. No and you're going to see firsthand how it actually is being printed. So. Lovely. Yeah. Yeah. So this is... Um, the industrial state-of-the-art 3D printing. Yes. Okay, this, this process is SLA, which is making, uh, based on a liquid. Mm -hmm. So it's making models and prototypes, uh, fine detail, good fill, kind of stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It's not as strong as the SLS, mm -hmm. but the, the detail work happens to be very good. And it's also the original one. This right. is the original 3D printing process. So we're going to go see now the actual guitar printing. This is, yeah, this is the one. So this, this is the, the process used to make the guitar. Yeah. So we've got six machines in here, and I think one just around the corner actually did yours because it doesn't feel on a normal side. Oh really? Yeah, that basically. <laughs> good, good. So this this one is building wide at the moment. So you can see that's making a load of well actually round things. So it's just so right, so it's just finished a layer. So this this is a, a thermal process, so the machine's actually hot. So whereas in there it's like a photochemical going in the ultraviolet laser chemical reaction in the resin. Here all we're doing is fine white nylon powder and um, CO2 lasers it's just a hot beam of heat. So it doesn't glow blue like the other one does. What to do now it's just little spots spinning mm. around and melting the plastic as it goes. Is that that's the laser beam? Yeah. There's a little set of mirrors at the top here it's a little, little laser beam it's moving it around so you can see it in the Line in the centre up here, scanning around the So then it's the whole field area drops down a tenth of a millimetre. The roller comes across and just spreads thin, quite one mil layer of powder back over the top. It is all going at the same time, so it's warming up. And then we're going to start scanning again after a few seconds. When these flaps move, is that too uh, No, all we're trying to do there is um, the middle area is one temperature two rounds of areas at a lower temperature, so they just there to try and keep the heat in, in the middle. So they're flapping just because they've already pushed them out of the way. You're actually literally watching them. Yeah, it's mighty impressive. <laughs> <laughs> so you see it's just repeat, it's yeah. building, yeah. quite happily churning away. It's nylon lasagna. <laughs> yeah, nylon lasagna. <laughs> exactly. So we, we can have a good look at the big machine yeah. that actually filled your part. That's, that's what's going on inside the machine at the moment. So, uh, yeah, yeah. big as well. You see the build area in the machine. Yeah, so it's in print. Can you see any of it? It looks like it's in a bit of an angle, so probably the bottom left corner is going to be done first. I can't see. 
so nice. All the touches and the personal touches are great. Right. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm really, really yeah, excited. Glad you guys like it. That's really, really cool. Yeah. There's a few yeah, nice touches on this one, which I'm sure you enjoy. I, I What's going on? Photos. What's going on with this at the top there? I saw there's another See, this logo. Is a, that's the part that's actually going to go around to the other side and that's go over wanted. the bridge. Yeah, that's what yeah. I wanted, so that's just an extra part that you yeah. take off. And it looks unique, yeah, it's in the style, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. and this area all here now is completely hollow. And then there's right. a big hollow patch here, and this is obviously where all the pickups and connections are. Sure. We're just lucky enough to be one of the first fans that have done it, I think. I think you're the first think, man. Yeah, I haven't it's read cool. it. First, yeah. Yeah. first one and uh, first band to try and take, take yeah. it on. I hope people look back at these and you have those fond memories of the 80s with, you know, Prince with his crazy guitar or no neck basses and you think wow that was that moment in time they they really pushed the boundaries you know yes yeah. i want to ask you if you could have like a guitar or a bass that could have a magical ability what would it be oh well I, it would do the job so that i didn't have to play it i think <laughs> <laughs> yeah it would be magic if it just did its thing and then i could sort of prance about on stage and not have to play it and that would be wonderful but um well, yeah i don't know just you know just like a great sound i think that's the thing you know i think with um we use kind of vintage instruments regularly and, and that the, the are sort of renowned for sort of sounding great and I think just as long as it's got a sort of big great sound on it then that's sort of magic enough you know it sort of does its, does its thing. I think this is pretty magical to be honest. Yes, yeah, it's 3D printed cool. it's about as magical as it gets. I'm glad, so would you say this surpassed your expectation? Was exactly what you expected? It's, yeah, it's such a beautiful piece. Um, it's just crazy to think you can design this then 15 hours later it's there. You know, with all this wonderful detail on it. And yeah, can't wait to plug it in with all of our equipment and see how it sounds. Christmas Day? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. It is so good. Well, glad. <laughs> Do they work alright? Yeah, it sounds like it.